As you may have heard, Steam stopped working on Windows XP and Windows Vista officially on January 1st, 2019. However, it did continue to work unofficially for a few days, but after that, newer builds did not function. Now we're here today to see, can you still run Steam on Windows XP and Windows Vista? So I have my Windows XP Professional 64 Edition computer right here, and the first thing we're going to need to do is open up a web browser and download the latest Steam client from steampowered.com. Now as you may have guessed, this isn't going to work, but I just figure I'll show you what happens when you try to run it so you know what you're looking for. It installs normally with no indication that it won't work, so that's sort of weird. And it will even download updates. And note that this is sped up quite a bit because my internet is very slow. Once the update has been downloaded, it even applies successfully, but then when you try to run it, it gives a fatal error saying, failed to load steamui.dll. But there is still hope, because someone posted a archived version of the no November 26 build on the Internet Archive. So not the very latest it would run, but it works. And it's configured automatically to not update to a later version that will break. And as of the time of making this video, it still connects just fine. So the first thing you need to do is download that archive and extract it. Which does take a while uh, if you have a slower hard drive because it processes several hundred megabytes of data. You can uh, copy it to the program files folder and uh, go ahead and delete any Steam folder that already exists there, unless you want to back up your games first. And then you just paste it in there. If you don't have an existing Steam installation, you can make a shortcut. But the thing that you need to do if you have an existing Steam installation, if you'd like to fix it, you need to open steam.config.cfg, rather, and you can see the line here, bootstrapper inhibit all equals enable. So after you do that, you, you will be able to open and log into Steam. Once you log into Steam, it'll load your uh, account information and it will work. And you'll notice that the Windows XP countdown timer does exist there and it's permanently set to zero days. You'll notice that certain images are not loading on Steam currently, and if you download games, they will install, however you will not get an icon. There is a way to fix this. Windows Vista should be good to go as long as you have it fully updated, however, you're going to need to use an HTTPS proxy to enable the icons and pictures to load fully on Windows XP. And that will automatically switch the embedded Chrome engine in Steam to use it, and you will get your images properly, as you can see. The friends and chat thing does work. I've tested it later on, and it is fully functional. And as you can see, I'm able to download and install a game just fine running on Windows XP. And like I said, this all works just perfectly fine to fix it for Windows Vista, and I have tested it personally. And games still launch and open as you would expect, and they play. Now like I said, there's no guarantee how long that this will work for, as it's just a simple hack to get Steam running again. It could break as soon as Steam decides that they're going to change their APIs, but there's no guarantee as to when that will happen. 
So that's how you fix Steam on Windows XP, and the way to fix it will be very similar on Windows Vista, and it should be fairly self-explanatory. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it helped you, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.